Hi guys, I hope everybody is well and safe out there. Today we're looking at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 and you guys know that the One UI 2 brings Android 10 and we've seen that with phones. The new Tab S6 Lite that just been released in certain countries and regions already ships with UI 2 and Android 10. And the update we just received on our Tab S6 here, we feel like we neglected you guys for Tab S6 really. We covered a lot of stuff on our channel, but now we want to really look at the new and exciting features that Samsung and Google incorporated. And yes, both of them, both companies um, have done this together. They're, it's basically based on the feedback from users like you guys out there that's given Samsung and Google the feedback and say, no, we want something else. We don't want this. And I think that's pretty cool. And let's have a quick look at what the new exciting features are. Getting tired of talking and I need more of a show right now. Just to briefly show you our installation and the software information you have, it is Android 10 on our Galaxy Tab S6, including the One UI version 2.1, in fact it is. And the first thing I noticed, which is quite of a neat touch, is that when you swipe down your quick menu, you access your quick menu, you can do that now from three different places in landscape mode. Nice neat touch. One of my personal favorite updates is the dark mode updates. We get enhancements in the dark mode on the Tab S6. You will all be familiar with the dark mode on your favorite social media platforms. The dark mode on the Tab S6 now has enhanced images, text, color adjustments, and these are all bold for day and night environment. The darkened wallpapers, you'll see we toggle on and off here. It is a nuance of color, a nuance of enhancement, but it really does make a difference when you are working in dark mode. The full screen gestures are the next update and this is also a great update now to the Tab S6. We can now choose between navigation buttons or full screen gestures. Within the full screen gestures, we also get more options. We can choose from the swipe from the bottom or a swipe from the side and bottom. Slight difference, but if we choose the swipe from the side and bottom, you can see now we swipe upwards, we hold and swipe, and we receive all our applications there in front of us. If we open an application and then just swipe up quickly from the bottom, we go back to our home screen. Show you again, we get all our applications up, open an application, and then we can swipe from either side to get back to our wallpaper or our home screen. On all our apps, we can simply swipe from the bottom or from the sides and you are back on your home screen and ready to go. Next one up is the Samsung keyboard and you can see there are additional icons already. The most, the biggest one I feel is like the translate options in the keyboard. You can now translate text from one language to another language. And I'm gonna demonstrate that really quickly here. I have English as source language and German as target language. And I'm just typing in what time is it, right? So I'm pressing German, off you go. And it automatically translates the text. You can also search in Spotify, which is pretty cool. You can right from your keyboard, you can just press that icon, search for a song you can search for an artist or any anything else you want to search for in spotify and then it comes up and then you will be able to play that another icon that has been added is the samsung pass you can basically just press it and then off you go with your samsung pass and then also text undo redo feature has been added stickers can be added to a date without creating an event so there are many many improvements to the keyboard itself with this awesome update the camera app also gets a small overhaul. You have a bit of an improved layout here. And what you can do is when you see on the bottom, you can see the um, more button and the more tab really gives you kind of an access to hidden modes from a previous screen. And when you press that, you can also customize the modes, which is pretty cool. You can basically drag them down or basically up. Um, however you wanna have that layout, it's up to you. It's fully customizable. If you just wanna have hyperlapse on the bottom, then it is totally up to you. When you swipe down from the quick menu, you will see an icon that is called Quick Share. And that is another improvement Samsung has brought to the Tab S6 here for the Android 10 and One UI 2.0 update. I'm going to demonstrate this very briefly with this awesome picture I took here. And all I did is basically press the share button and you will see Quick Share comes up. And then I have my Galaxy S10e next to it. And all you do is basically 
um, press the button and then it does it automatically. It basically connects and then you share the files. And the same you can do with music. I'm demonstrating this here with Spotify. I've chosen a playlist and I can share this easily with my device with the Galaxy S10. And these are also new additions you have with that awesome update. Another neat feature is when you access your quick menu, you swipe down as you do, and then you have the media control, the control media playing on your device. And that basically means you can now control your music from your Tab S6 and videos here and switch to playback to another device if you like. Moving on to my files, there's also a lot of features that have been added. I'm going to list all of the features for every single improvement at the end of this video. For example, here it's created a trash feature so you can restore files if you delete them by mistake. But I want to focus on the filters, right? You have a way better filter now when you search for files or anything, really. We see that you have a timeline, you have a type, and you have a format of um, documents or images of videos you want to search for. And I think that makes it really um, easier and more convenient to search for something in your file system and when you use a lot of files um, as we do all of us probably then looking for files is, can sometimes be really cumbersome and sometimes it's a nightmare to find the right files so it, this is certainly a welcome addition here in terms of reminders more features have been added and i want to focus on a couple here that is one of is the set location based reminder for kind of a specific period of time so I'm just uh, demonstrating this here. I'm going to do a Tab S6 light review when it comes out. And I've chosen London just to be a bit more different and to see how it works when I choose a place that is not near home. And then it creates a reminder basically with the location based in it, which is pretty cool. But you can now also share all your reminders with your family members or any group really you want to um, create and that is possible when you basically click on that you have to set up your groups your social groups and then you can share all of that via the app now a couple of more features have been added and when you look at the device care it looks a different different layout a bit more sleek then we move on to digital well-being and you have the option here to customize your focus mode and you see two separate options here that is the work time and me time and when you go in, you can choose the applications you want to use and have present when you have that mode on, all the separate modes on. Nevertheless, when you go back into the main menu of the digital well-being, you also see the uptime. You can set limits uh, as a time limit for your apps you use. So that's also a nice and neat feature to have. In your calendar app, you can now add stickers without creating an event. Also, you can add ringtones to be used for an event alert. And you can see all the stickers that are available, including smileys and everything else you really like to add to your event or non-event. If you're looking for Bixby Home, you are out of luck because it has been replaced with Samsung Daily. And going for the motions here, you can see that I can tick or untick anything that shows up in my feed. And you can heavily customize that as well. And these are pretty much all the features we wanted to show you today. And guys, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. You know the drill. Thank you for watching. We appreciate that. Peace out. Of a show right now It's time that you made your mind up